Heterosexual woman in California just triggered the majority of the LGBTQ plus community by basically posing as a member of this community while loudly supporting Trump at a Trump 2020 rally. Hi, lovely. Look at this lovely, beautiful lady here. All right, I think I'm gonna say goodbye, Dad. Share my videos. This is a very strange behavior, and she probably had no idea how much backlash she would get. Then again, this is a person who makes efforts to provoke people who don't support Trump, so maybe she did but just didn't care. She was eaten alive in the comments section on Facebook where she shared all of this, and understandably so. The reason I wanted to make a video about this is because it's a dirty political tactic that is based in psychological deception. The particularly deceptive part of her gesture was that to the outside observer, she appeared to be part of this community. There are no physical characteristics that make one's sexuality apparent, so any reasonable person would conclude that by holding up a sign, you are saying we support this candidate, because no one holds up signs saying they support this candidate. So you can easily imagine an impressionable person seeing that and thinking, oh, okay, well, I guess Trump has earned the support of this community. And in that person's mind, Trump gets an unearned positive impression. If this was a game, you'd be cheating. It would be like me, as someone who has never served in the military, parading around with signs saying veterans for Trump. I've also never been incarcerated, so what if I were to hold up signs saying former inmates for Biden? I'm actually concerned with how effective this could be. Not that people holding signs really changes anyone's mind, but when enough people rally and raise signs, it really can instill a general sense that a certain group of people really feel this way. I'm actually surprised we don't see this tactic more often. If a group of Democrats traveled to a red state and posed as Republicans who have had enough of Trump, or a group of Republicans traveled to a blue state and posed as Democrats who are walking away from the party, this would probably be much more effective than playing by the unspoken rules of speaking for yourself. You see, when a white person wears a shirt that says blacks for Trump, at least people can scoff at it right away. It doesn't pass the eye test. But when the group cannot be recognized easily by physical characteristics alone, and you pose as one of them, you can kind of get away with it. What irks me about this deceptive behavior is that it could potentially relieve political candidates of the hard task of earning the support of different communities. Trump has to earn the support of the queer community, and so far he hasn't. According to multiple polls, less than 25% of queer folks support Trump. If we muddy the waters with deceptive advocacy like this, we take the pressure off of our political candidates to truly understand and represent the various communities whose support and votes they want so badly. In my opinion, support who you support and be as loud as you want about it as long as you're respectful, but let's agree that it is foul play to falsely present yourself as part of a community and then speak for that community. And if you don't care about rules, just know that if you do this and are caught, you lose all credibility, so it's a bad strategy. And now that we know people are willing to try these tactics, it becomes all the more important to actually talk to one another, but let people speak for themselves. Shout out to the subscribers of this channel, we really appreciate you. It's been very interesting to witness so many YouTube channels become extremely popular based on being politically one-sided. It's a pretty reliable way to grow a channel. While we'll examine the psychology of political dynamics from time to time, Psychology goes beyond politics and is relevant to people from all political camps. And it's our goal here at Psychology Is to build a community who, I know this sounds crazy, don't necessarily agree about everything, but who share the intention to understand human behavior and human potential, and to utilize this understanding for improving our quality of life. So thanks for being part of it. See you soon. 
If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe.